Uh, let's turn now for a moment to Twitter, which is reversing a company policy about hacked materials. The company initially blocked that link uh, to that unverified and controversial New York Post story, which alleges it obtained emails concerning Joe Biden's son, Hunter. Uh, those emails are being scrutinized by the FBI as part of a potential disinformation campaign. But Twitter later changed course, saying in part, quote, we've received significant feedback from critical to supportive about how we enforced our hacked materials policy yesterday. After reflecting on this feedback, we have decided to make changes to the policy and how we enforce it. It comes as Republican senators are now threatening to subpoena Twitter head Jack Dorsey over the controversy. Joining me now is Silicon Valley correspondent for The Washington Post, Elizabeth uh, Dawskin, Dawskin, excuse me, who has reported uh, on this. Elizabeth, thank you so much for joining us. So Twitter says they will no longer remove hacked content unless it is directly shared by hackers or those acting in concert with them. I think a big question here on a lot of people's mind is how can these companies even determine something like that uh, and the source of the information, what's hacked versus what isn't? Yeah, I mean, you get the feeling that they're just making these decisions on the fly and covering this whole this covering the tech world for the last eight years in the social media world. I, I still have that feeling, even though they're also trying to stand on principle. They're being forced to make decisions in real time uh, in an election where misinformation is running rampant and the president and his supporters are often the biggest promulgators of that disinformation. So it's a very, the, the waters are very muddy. And you also have the specter of the 2016 election really hanging over the tech companies and all their decisions. In 2016, Russians, Russian operatives sowed disinformation to millions of Americans on social media. And there was also the fact that Russia hacked the DNC to get John Podesta's emails and gave them to WikiLeaks. And that story not only spread all over social, spread all over social media without context, and the news media itself also carries blame for not contextualizing what were the political motivations of that story and who's behind that. So fast forward to 2020, and now you have this story, this salacious story in the New York Post about the emails of Joe, the reported emails of Joe Biden's son and the provenance of those emails is still very unclear. And we know that these stories go completely viral before news organizations get to fact check them or debunk them. And so you ask yourself, well, if you're Twitter, if you're Facebook, what would you do? And it's almost a damned if you do, damned if you don't type of situation, because let's say they didn't take action and those were hacked materials right. and it goes completely viral. Well, then they repeat 2016 and they get in trouble. So instead they exercised caution. They got huge backlash, not just from Republicans, but also from journalists who said, wait, was the For New York sure. Post doing anything yeah. that was totally very different from you know, in terms of obtaining information from what mainstream media does. So what do they do really quickly? And we have about 15 seconds. What do they do in the next two weeks? Do you think they play an aggressive role or keep a lower profile? Uh, I think I think aggressive. I think there's so much pressure on them to act mm. and so much fear that they will get in trouble if they don't, that I think we're going to see them taking more unusual actions. Yeah, we, we can't seem to get this right with uh, social media. Yet. Elizabeth Dwoskin, thank <laughs> no. you so much. I appreciate your reporting on this story. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.